Hello, it's Andy Amadella here, and after having the pleasure of watching 20 World Cup games between naps because of the World Cup games, we came to the conclusion that there is simply no reason to watch any World Cup game unless you're forced to. To say that they are slow is to give them too much credit. We were doing our daily workout at the health club the other day during a great World Cup game. And as we walked by during the first five minutes, and you can name the game, it'll work for all of them, we asked, what's the score? We miss anything? And the reply was, no score, you didn't miss anything. We did this intermediately for the next one hour and thirty minutes. And, as we politely asked, did we miss anything? The answer was always the same. No, no score. However, this game was a little more exciting because there was an additional 30 minutes of no scoring to be followed by the penalty kick where 20% of the players couldn't kick the ball into the net from 10, 15 feet. I'm not sure how far the penalty kick is because I don't care only to have the team finally win by one point over the other team. It was just your typical, non-exciting World Cup game. So, over two hours of playing a sport without one point being scored, and heaven forbid that one point is scored during the game because the team that scores that point will go into lockdown and play defense to help assure that no other points are scored during the entire game. Now, how exactly is that supposed to be exciting and compelling sports, unless you're drunk or blowing a horn? Now, please let me answer from a European or a South American point of view, so you don't have to. It is exciting because it is a game of skill and poise where you wait for your opponent to do something wrong and then you pounce, pounce like a cat on a mouse. No, make that more like a turtle running. If you love competitive chess, you will love World Cup soccer. And if you love watching grass grow, you'll become a soccer fanatic. If you love wasting two hours of your life to get furious at the cheating referees, the diving players, and the crazy fans who support yours and the other teams, you'll love soccer. But if you actually like action and scoring, you're probably going to take a little nap only to awake a little while later to find out you didn't miss any scoring. As much as we love the sporting events across the world, we must humbly ask that soccer be put on late nights in the U.S. to assure a sound night's sleep. Nothing personal, but it's the greatest sports nation in the world, the America, with the greatest athletes in the world, can't finish above 16th after 50 years of trying, then we should give up and move on to real sports. We are a nation of winners and we do not celebrate finishing 16th because the goalie couldn't catch the ball in two games and allowed us to get a point to tie one game and win the other. Or we wouldn't even have finished 16th. We don't celebrate that. Hit a home run, throw an 80-yard touchdown pass, dunk the ball from the foul line, and we'll appreciate you and celebrate you. Run up and down the field for 90 minutes and don't make a single point. And it's nap time. This is Grandmaster Ted Gambardella, and telling you why Americans think soccer sucks.